Idea Rex, and welcome to another SimCity video. In this one, we're going to be discussing the brand new 3.0 patch update. So, really excited for this. Um, went over the patch notes, there's a lot of stuff in there, and I picked out a couple things. So, this video is relatively short compared to what's on there. A couple things that were interesting and that actually matter. So, the things I skipped over um, there's a lot of bug fixes they did and a lot of tuning, and tuning's hard to tell in this game, you don't know exactly what's going on, and what they're changing, because um, there's just so many different variables involved, so I did the ones that I thought the, were the most interesting, and most of those come with traffic, so in this, in this video we still have the mod for cross traffic turn lane, so if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend you go check that out, really helps with traffic, but 3.0 patch update came up with some interesting stuff. Um, one of which is that they made right turns, uh, you can make a right turn on a red light, which is greatly going to help the flow of traffic, at least where I'm at in California, this is legal, you have to stop, but then you go, um, but I think it's legal in a lot of places, and it helps the flow of traffic, um, because the right turns, you're only going to hit pedestrians, and... I guess pedestrians, you don't actually hit pedestrians in this game, there's no actual car crashes. So, that actually brings us to another point. Um, you've probably seen on Reddit or other places where, or in your own games, where a car gets stuck in an avenue or a street and blocks all the cars behind it, causing a huge traffic jam. And if this happens to you, they fixed it. Now, how much they fixed it, how, if it's going to be permanently fixed, or if there's still problems will arise, I can't answer that. Um, what I can say is that they're trying to fix it, they know it's a problem, and supposedly they fixed it, which is exciting. Um, I'm glad they're trying to fix the problems that the fans have. Um, yes, there are problems, which isn't exciting, but they did that. Another major thing they did to the traffic was that they staggered the industrial times for starting in commercial. So I had a video earlier where I talked about how to set up your city so your industrial workers go one direction, my industry is up here in this city. And my commercial guys go down here. This is where my commercial is. Um, and my school people go a different direction. Now, with this new update, the industrial people, I think, start like an hour before the commercial. So they'll all have their traffic jam driving to work. Then the commercial people will go. It makes it so your whole SimCity residence area isn't all leaving at once, once, which is really exciting. I'm glad they fixed this. It's a pretty simple fix, and hopefully it'll spread out your congestion. So this means the same amount of cars are going to be traveling, but they're just going to be spread out at different times of the day, and it's going to make it a lot better on your city in terms of traffic. Now, another thing that they're fixing is service vehicles are no longer deleting, or they're bringing them back. Um, so say, this happened to me. Um, it's a little uh, ex confusing, but I had a tr garbage trucks, and they just weren't in my city anymore. So what happened was they took them and drove and they went to a different city and they just never came back so uh, they fixed that so they're going to come back to your city and if they, you lost them in a previous patch they'll come back again um, another thing that changed in terms of traffic is university pass this is actually the modded one can go straight through roads you don't have to place it to a road and then to a road it doesn't change a whole lot um, but it's just a minor thing and then a huge thing for me is the bulldozing so this is the non-traffic one but in terms of bulldozing, you destroy a building, and now instead of instantly growing back, uh, let's see if we have any buildings we can destroy. Instead of, uh, we got a, oh, there's a building. Um, instead of instantly growing back like it used to, now it takes 6 to 12 in-game hours for your building to grow back, which... It's more realistic, because before, if you wanted progress, you just destroy a building and it would immediately grow back like a higher-tech building. Um, but the problem is, there's a couple glitches in the bulldozing. Um, this city was having problems earlier, where every hour I'd lose a building, just for random reasons. And because of that, it would mean my whole city would just be destroyed if I'm always bulldozing it. But I think they might have fixed that in the update. Um, I haven't quite put enough time into it, it just came out a couple hours ago. So, I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, so we're going to have to wait here for six hours. We're not going to do it in this video. But those are the major major changes. If you want to look at the patch notes, I'll put them in the description. Um, see exactly what they do. Uh, there's a lot of tuning, a lot of bug fixes. And then these are the major fixes that you as a gamer um, need to know about. And they're going to affect your game. So um, let me know if you looked over the patch. If you find anything interesting that I forgot, that I didn't mention, um, that you think is vital to people's uh, 
experience of the game. I'd really look forward to hearing those responses. And yeah, if you learn something, if you're going to use this information, please leave this video a like. It really helps me out, get exposure. And if you're new around here and want to see more videos like this, tips and tricks, mod videos, or let's plays for SimCity and a couple other games, uh, please subscribe. So yeah, this has been your boy Ida Rex. Peace.